rumination is correct yeah. is one of the main things that happen with depression. Constantly ruminating the past, anticipating the, mm -hmm. the future. That's a recipe for feeling even worse. But about the, what you said about time, I think there's a possibility that the way you react with resilience uh, of instant event, like pain, might be a predictor of how you will do well in long-term sort of trauma. And I'll give you an example. We did study with meditators with pain. And it can be electricity, it can be heat, you know, we have been to all those things. Like. And <laughs> the main difference is that with sharp pain, the, the control subjects, they, when they know that the pain is coming, the brain areas of the network of pain is activated much before the pain, almost to the maximum. <laughs> and then the peak is lost in that anticipation, and then it takes waves and waves after the, the pain. The difference with the meditators, no anticipation. They remain calm until the sharp pain comes, then they experience that pain very strongly, and after that it's gone. The recovery is very fast. So I think if you have the capacity to do that instant after instant, it will also probably predict that you can deal with your mind so that with bigger events, that you can, you can always recover that kind of stability.